It's basically a creepy, really creepy skeleton thingy with posable arms from the store and it also makes spooky noises and lights up, which is great. Let me turn it on. And it's got this, like, yeah, all this stuff on it and chains and stuff. It's really scary. And here's the base of the robot. This is the robot that I've been working on for a while. And I don't know if you guys can see it. So up here, guys, um, I added an extra um, set of motors. So now there's this one and this one in the back. And they both go to the same gear. So that's what I changed. And also, up here, let me get a closer look. Uh, see that pole right there? Well, my dad and I drilled some holes, and then we screwed that through. Let me come back up here. And now, over here, I actually took, we drilled some more holes in this beam thingy. And that beam actually came with this um, thing. You were supposed to put it in the ground, but... Uh, we did something very different with it. So, um, yeah, I put some cable ties through here, and, uh, so it's gonna be really cool. Also, um, yeah, so it's just basically a, a big, big, big bar. It did actually come with some, like, lights inside, but apparently I'm not gonna use those because I'd have to plug the robot in, which would be really, really stupid. You can see I covered it in some stuff that... Anyways, there's this, um... There's the antenna. Whoa! Alright, guys, we are far away from the subject of this video. Thank God, because it's so scary. Ha ha ha. No. Anyway, so I have my, um, controller right here. Vex controller. And I can manipulate the robot with it. As you can see, it's moving around in the background. So now we're gonna have some fun. You can see it moves very slowly and ominously, kind of like it's coming towards you. And it's floating towards you. And I covered it in black so that you won't actually see the robot part. And also, you can kind of view the motors. Um, the thing is, I'm setting up this audio system and my iPod is going to play audio so that will hopefully drown it out and it's gonna look really freaky just in time for tomorrow which if you didn't already know is Halloween we seem to have some problems with the robot with the actual ghost thingy spinning around right now but I'm working on it and actually it's going to hold the um, candy bowl for the poor little kids who are going to get, um, yeah, they're gonna pee in their vans. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for more great videos. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash futureinvent. Check out our Facebook page. It's called the Future Invention Subscriber Page. All links will be below in the description. Thanks for watching. Peace.